Hi everybody, Natasha Wilkinson, Independent Sensory Consultant, Mount Isa, Australia. Now I have tried filming this a few times on my phone and I've kept running out of storage and I have not been able to work out how to add more storage with the video on there. So let's try it on my laptop and see how we're going to go. It is time. Overflowing, as you can see, I'm throwing things everywhere to do my empties. It is coming to you a bit late because I have had a bit of a head cold and I thought I could hold off doing it, but not anymore. I have since made up for that bit of a head cold. So let's delve into my empties and what I have been using. So we will start off with non wax items. The first thing I am going to talk about is this full laundry system. To me, a full laundry system consists of a laundry liquid, a scent soft and washer whips. I do apologise if you can hear a one year old baby in the background. So it consists of that to me only because I don't have a dryer. So dryer discs essentially I don't have anywhere to use them. If I had a dryer they would be added to this system. So I used Palm Beach Breeze for the first time and I really really enjoyed this. It is Flamingo Peach Salty Sea Air. So you get that fresh clean crisp note but with the sweetness of the fruit added to this really really beautiful and would definitely be a repurchase for me in the future so I also went through a I don't like colors making it hard to focus here on my laptop aloe water and cucumber dish soap Turn the room light off, you might be able to see it better, it focuses a bit more. Unfortunately on my computer everything comes up backwards. I have not worked out how to reverse the writing. So I went through the aloe water and cucumber dish soap. So you get the freshness from the aloe water and cucumber, but then you get this sweetness come through from pineapple nectar in the scent notes. I have not yet tried the bar, so I tend to have only smelt this fragrance in our cleaning products as I've only had it in cans of clean dish soap and I think a fragrance smell. I have not yet actually tried the bar so I would like to try the bar one of these days on my list of things to do. So I also went through a room spray in Luna. First room spray I have actually completed since becoming a consultant. I really enjoy our room sprays. They last forever. I became a consultant a year and a half ago. Probably didn't purchase a room spray for about three, four months in of being a consultant. Probably took a little bit longer for me to get through one full room spray than most people too because I have more than one room spray on the go. But for this small size, they do last for a really, really long time. Luna is a sweet floral scent and it is one of those floral scents that if you don't particularly like floral, a lot of people will still like Luna for some reason. It's not overpowering, it's not overheaty, it's not over floral. So, next we're going to talk about pods. So, in the laundry, at the beginning of April, I popped in pink cotton pods. A month and a half later, they have finally lost their scent. Pink cotton is fresh, crisp, clean linen with the sweetness of a red berry. And that red berry really transformed this scent, making it into something 
really pretty and not just a crisp, pretty linen scent. I'm not the biggest just linen scent fan, but I love pink cotton. And I think it's something about that berry and the transformation it does with that berry and the combination that I really love. This filled up my bathroom for a month and a half before I finally took it out. So it is a strong performer as well and lasts forever. So that was then replaced with just one pod of Best Berry. And the reason it was only replaced with one pod is because I'd already used up the other pod in my mini fan diffuser. This also lasts a good long while. But it's not the strongest of scents. To me, it's just a very basic, very scent. This was from our Valentine's Day collection. Don't hate it, but to me, it's not the best berry scent they've ever made. To me, it's a basic berry scent, very nice. I will say, though, it is long-lasting, even though it's not strong-lasting. So that was in the bathroom. My daughter now has the Princess Diffuser in her bedroom. So, we popped in her bedroom the Berry Bright pods when she got the fan diffuser. Berry Bright to me smells like blue Hubba Bubba, if you've ever tried that. The blue raspberry, very sugary, very sweet. That's what Berry Bright smells like to me. This was from our Easter collection, these pods. These are a strong performing pod. They filled up my daughter's room, came crashing out of the gate, really strong. Lasted only a week and a half. Compared to other pods, why they are strong, great performing why they are strong, fizzled out a lot quicker than some of the other pods. So, it was then replaced by in her room, which is currently still in her room, the Disney Princess True Love Awaits. So this is mandarin, raspberry and vanilla, I believe. I definitely get the tartness of the raspberry and then the mandarin adds like this bright sweetness to it and then the vanilla amps the sweetness up again but it doesn't make it creamy and still getting that very fruity bright sensation with these but still really enjoyable so they were the pods we have used up so now it is time to delve into all this wax. For someone that didn't warm for a week because she couldn't smell anything, I still seem to have got through a fair bit, which is why my phone cut off. And so unfortunately we're going to see everything written backwards, but that's okay. I have the notes here, so I will be able to read you what they are without you trying to read everything backwards. So, let's first talk about my open concept area. So for those of you who aren't aware, my open concept area consists of my lounge room and kitchen. I tend to, because they blend into each other, try and use the same scents in there. And it tends to take up two full bars generally of something. Sometimes if they're a stronger scent, it might be one and a half bars or one and a bit bars, or depending on what I'm trying to do in that room. So, if you have been watching previous What I Have Been Warnings, you will have been aware that I did pick up a D-stash of a couple of about six or seven bars that are not from this region. They are in Region 1 from a I Swap Cell Facebook group. And I broke into one of them this session. Caramel Apple Craze. Now I 
would definitely have this in my Sensi Club if it was available here in Australia. Just trying to see if I can focus it. What's better with the moonlight? On or off? I'm still fiddling with my lighting as you can see. So, caramel apple craze. Creamy golden caramel, sweet red delicious apples and whipped vanilla invite you to be or trick or treat it again. This is a total scent memory for me. It brings me back to being a little girl when you would walk around the fruit aisles of the supermarket and you'd be able to pick up red toffee apples. And this is totally what this scent reminds me of. You get that sweet, gooey, toffee, caramel scent with the sweetness of the apples. And as I said, because my open concept area is large, I needed something complimentary to go with it, but would not overtake this scent, so I could still enjoy this scent. So I chose to use three cubes of Dulce de Leche, which is basically a cream brulee scent. So just adding to more of that caramelly type scent and they went into the mini warmers around the open concept area while I popped the whole bar of caramel apple craze into my large warmers since that was the main scent that I wanted to smell. So next we're going to talk about my next experiment so to say. My Scentsy Club is in need of a major overhaul and it's out of it which I will be doing in July. I'm holding off to transition month so I can see what's coming back and then I will take you through on a video of editing Sensi Club. So one of the factors I will be considering in my editing will be light scents. Do I have similar scents? Do I need similar scents? So currently in my Sensi Club for my winter scents the weather has been cooling down here, so I'm now taking you through my winter scent in the open concept area before I hit the summer scents. So, currently in my Scentsy Club, I have both Pie Oh My and Baked Apple Pie. So, they're basically both meant to be a apple pie scent. So do I need two apple pie scents in my Scentsy Club? Probably not. So my experiment for this was to warm both of them and see which one I enjoyed better to try and make that decision when I do do my edit of what one of these two will get the boot. So pie oh my is rich red apples mouth watering, flaky pastry, and just a hint of cinnamon spice. Baked apple pie is flaky crust apples and spices combined in a long scent. So, to me, pie oh my is not an apple pie. To me, pie oh my smells like I have just the fruit from an apple pie simmering on a stove with a little bit of cinnamon. So I get more of the apple and the spices. I don't get the flaky pie note. Baked apple pie, I get cinnamon. Cinnamon, cinnamon. So there is a little bit of a sweetness, but the cinnamon is very overpowering in this. Out of the two, which do I like better? Pie or mine. So, saying that, this is a good mixer. What my initial thoughts are going to be is that I have next month one more of these coming, then it will be deleted out when I do my Sensi Club edit because I will then use the cinnamon ones as a mixer and I won't need more than the two I have on hand as I still have another one of these on hand. Will I keep Pi Oh My? In Sensi Club, then I don't know, but so far, Pio Mai is in the lead. Combination of these two were very pretty, it added a bit more of the cinnamon that Pio Mai was lacking, 
So I did enjoy the combo as a mixer. As I said, baked apple pie was a good mix. So, also in my open concept area, being winter, I wanted something fruity, but not tropical fruity, not summery fruity. I wanted something wintery fruity. So, I went through two Wasail Wonderlands. And these are from our Sense of the Season collection last year. It is a very Christmassy scent. Wasail Wonderland is a very Christmassy scent. You get the spiced oranges, the cinnamon, the cloves. You get a pine needle about them. So even though it's Christmassy, it is also very wintry scent. And a lot of my fruity wintry scent are apple based. And I was in the mood for something other than apple. Surprisingly, I love Wasail Wonderland. And when I say surprisingly, I am shocked because it's oranges, it's citrus. I am not the biggest citrus fan, but this combination is just such a really nice, comforting, winter, fruity scent that, as you can see, I've used two up. And I have about eight more in my inventory at home. I did have it in Central Club, but it came into clearance for five dollars each, so it was cheaper for me to stock up what I wanted to get through winter and Christmas rather than keep it in that sense of color. Okay, so we're going to talk about what's currently warming, which is still another winter scent. Gingerbread hugs mixed with the rest of that apple pie, baked apple pie, because I only used half of that when I did pie on my. This is cinnamon, nut, meg, Actually, no, it's not cinnamon, it's nutmeg, clove, and gingerbread, I think, from memory. It is fresh baked gingerbread with notes of vanilla and nutmeg. So, yes, it's gingerbread, notes of vanilla, and nutmeg. So, the ginger isn't overpowering that nutmeg and vanilla tone it down, but you still do get the ginger in it, the gingerbread in it. And then mixed with the baked apple pie, added that cinnamon. It was really warm and comforting, although I will say my son walked in yesterday and said, what's that awful smell? He does not like the scent. I like it though, and I will enjoy it over winter. And I had half a bar of apple pecan left, so I warmed off that. That is... Wander into autumn woods to gather golden apples with a dash of warm spice. And it's all that. You get that crisp, cold, wintry air blowing through those woodsy trees and then the slight sweetness of the apples. Excuse me for just one moment. Hopefully this baby is going to stay quiet enough. I know he's been a little bit noisy but he was starting to get even more noisy then. Hopefully I can get through this video. I've had so many interruptions with this video and this one is just going to go up as it is. So I do apologise with the interruptions. So now we're going to talk about the scents I wore before the cold weather hit and I went through those winter scents. So before the cold weather hit, I used up the strawberry basil. Fresh green basil garnishes strawberry and raspberry for a dreamy on the vine vibe. A scented kid's lip gloss. That's all I'm going to say about this. Was not my favourite, would not purchase it again. There are so many better strawberry scents out there. And I have 
the International Wax Collection, Alan Bell. This to me is a basic fruit punch scent. So need I say more? Fruit punch. Pack your bag with this new Alan Bell Scentsy Blah and head to the traffics with hibiscus, watermelon and mandarin. So I did have it in my Scentsy Club. It is quite an enjoyable, fruity, fruit punchy scent, but I did take it out. So that was my last one. But, and the reason I took it out, in our catalogue we have watermelon and tangerine and I have in my Scentsy Club hibiscus water. So I can, not an exact dupe, but recreate a fruit punchy type scent if I was in the mood for a fruit punchy type scent. So that was the reason I decided not to keep Island Bow in my sense of home. So I do believe that is what I want in my open concept area. Let's talk about my daughter's room. We used up the rest of her Little Mermaid Kiss the Girl Sensi Bar. Enchanting Strawberry, Raspberry Lime and Subtle Waves of Sea Mist will make you fall head over heels. This to me is an aquatic version of Berry Bright. You get that sweet raspberry and strawberry and then that sea mist brings in that aquatic note. Very pretty, currently in my Sensi Club because I do want a few more for my daughter's room. She enjoys this scent. Whether it will stay in Scentsy Club forever, probably not. Probably grab a few more rounds so she can enjoy a few of them before I decide to take it out. So we have two cubes left of Moana, Spirit of Motunui, and I think four cubes left of Go Go Mango. So what I did there was mix it with Go Go Mango in my daughter's room and then the rest went into my son's room as well. Spirit of Matanui by itself, I don't like. To me, it's an under-ripened watermelon when I smell it by itself. Mixed with other fruity tropical scents, I actually really enjoy. Not in my Scentsy Club though, so I will not be getting any more of that. And mixed with Go Go Mango, it was really lovely. So, Go Go Mango is juicy mango and melon garnished with hibiscus and that sweet banana flower. So, the hibiscus and the melon melded really well with the melon in the spirit of Matanui, giving it more of that sweeter, ripened vibe that I really enjoy. So we used up the rest of Lady and the Tramp Faithful Friends, Luscious Berry Succulent Pear, Mixed with Freesia Blossom are as sweet as a faithful friend. There's just something about some of these pear scents. I don't know if it's the freesia of the pear, but there's something about this particular bar that has a note in it that reminds me of wet dog that I do not like. More of the berry comes out in warming. Not as bad as warming, but will not be a repurchase for me. I did not particularly like this scent. And Disney Princess True Love Awaits. This is the Enter a Kingdom where enchanting ripe raspberry, sparkling mandarin, and a kiss of sweet vanilla. You get more of the vanilla in the bar than you do in the pod but you still get that tart raspberry, that vibrant, sweet mandarin scent, and then the vanilla has a bit more of a creaminess compared to the pod, but the fruity scents really are more enhanced, quite enjoyable, still in Scentsy Club, won't stay in there forever, but really beautiful for my daughter's room, so I want to feel more for her 
the bedroom. Okay, so I do believe that was my daughter's bedroom. So let's delve into the bathroom and the laundry. So Mandalorian Air of Adventure. Silver mint like Mandalorian armor surrounds Chris Bergamot and earthy sweet geranium while a touch of eucalyptus. And bright orange zest hint at the adventures ahead. I don't get any orange zest in this. Now I will say this was from the original release of the Star Wars. So it was an older bar. I get a crisp clean air and I get that eucalyptus in the background. But saying this, this was the day before I lost all sense of smell with the head cold I had. I found it quite light and I had to kind of really smell to get that eucalyptus and that crisp clean air. Whether it was the bar being old or me about to lose my sense of smell, I do not know. I do have another bar, so I will try this one again just to see whether it was me. I might try it in my son's room or my daughter's room in a smaller room as well to see if I can get a better scent throw. But I think the combination of me having that cold and it being an older bar might have not being as well performing as what I've heard this bar can be. I've also heard this bar can be light, so it could be this in my household, a lighter bar. I do not know. But I may even pick one up before it goes back into another one up before it goes back into the vault. Still undecided on that one. Another quite light performer in my house, which was in the bathroom laundry, I picked up in the clearance. Luminous Lagoon, no longer available. Luxurious combination of fresh green apples, tropical pineapple flowers and fragrant violet leaves. To me, this was like a fancy soap. Probably the best I could describe it. Slightly floral, fancy soap type perfume scent. And then I used up in the bathroom and laundry the Sleep Happy from the Catching Z's. It was the only one I hadn't tried out of the sleep collection that I hadn't got through. So this one is Drift Off to Dreamland by Delegant Violet and Bergamot Risk on Musk Clouds. And on cold, I do not like this. Warming, I enjoyed it. Didn't enjoy it enough to make me want to add it to a Sensor Club subscription, even though I can't anymore. But to me, on warming, it was like a older, grown-up version of 100 Acre Woods. Like they were trying to make a stronger, more grown-up version. Still prefer 100 Acre Woods more. I got like that kind of same sense of that clean, crisp air with the powdery floral vibrating through it. So very nice for the bathroom and laundry, but not one I'd consider Sensi Club worthy. I'd purchase 100 acre woods over this any day, although to me this is like they were trying to make something more long lasting, more stronger. A more adult version of 100 Acre Woods. That's kind of what this kind of reminded me of. And I do believe that's what I want in the laundry and the bathroom. So let's delve into my room, which is the main room of the house. Speaking of 100 Acre Woods, I decided to do a little experiment. I have fallen in love with 100 Acre Woods. There's just something about it that reminds me of this clean, crisp room, like it just, like a clean, crisp linen laundry, 
you've just got out of the shower, pop some powder on, so you've got that powdery clean crisp note, open the windows, the fresh, cool, crisp air's coming through, and the flowers are drifting in through the window on the breeze. A combination of like, that is what I smell when I smell honey bacon balls. So it's grab your favourite hand, wander through a friendly forest, swelling with the cotton blossoms, wild jasmine, and sweet cosy vanilla. So to me, this is more of a memory to me for a newborn baby than newborn nursery ever was. Just so much sweeter, so much nicer. If this ever retires, it will be going in my sense of pride. But I also get a bit of a calming lavender vibe when I smell this on cold. And because of that, even though it has no lavender in it, I wanted to try a little bit of the experiment. One of my other favourite scents is, which is no longer available, uh, available mm. Fuzzy Blanket. I have been hoarding it like crazy. I was down to my last four cubes, and now I'm down to my last three cubes. And the reason being, in the main bedroom, I used up this bar and split a cube between two of the three warmers I have to add a bit of a lavender scent to this. This combination was beautiful. If Fuzzy Blanket ever comes back, it will be going into my Scentsy Club. I think I'm going to try a combination of this and Lavender Cotton next. Haven't tried Lavender Cotton yet, but because it has like a cotton note, I think it would know really well with this. But saying that 100 Acre Woods is a softer scent, so I don't want the lavender being so overpowering that it's going to wipe out the 100 acre woods which is why I did half a cube with the full cube in the warmers of this so I was adjusting the scent so I'd get the lavender scent but not have it over white 100 acre woods so that was a really pretty combination now I have a cat that's been to sex today and he has his hormones going everywhere. He's spreading everywhere. So I needed to get rid of smells in my bedroom. Scrubbing and cleaning smells and his smell. So I broke into Perfect Peppermint. Basically, it's a strong peppermint toothpaste type smell. But I just wanted to reset my bedroom, so to speak. And I will say, now that the weather's getting cooler, when I was warming this in summer, I was getting a day's performance out of this. In winter, this is lasting for my warmers about three days. So the cooler weather really works really well with minty flavours, and I'm finding the minty flavours are lasting longer in the cooler weather than they were in the warmer weather. And then after the was over the minty flavours, I decided to break into one of my bars of pink sugar berry mint. And this is a sweet, sugary, cotton candy type smell. Plump raspberry, delightfully dusted with sugar and the sweetest hint of peppermint. So the vanilla air accord and the peppermint give it a little bit of a freshness but then that berry gives it like that sweet cotton candy type smell. This one's in my Scentsy Club. Love, love, love it. And that was what I wanted in my bedroom. We talked about going on another day in my son's room. The other one that's not quite finished, three cubes left that has been warming in my son's room has been pineapple lolly which is white chocolate and pineapple. Not a fan, which is why it's going in my son's room. Wasn't a fan of cold smell and I wanted to use it up. It was from our December Bring Back My Bar. There's just something about the combination. Just doesn't agree with me. It's sickly sweet to me. I love white chocolate. If they'd mixed white chocolate with something else, I probably would enjoy it. But the pineapple lolly and the white chocolate just together makes this real sickly sweet smell that I do not like. 
So, Bay with the Baz. And last but not least, we have what I've been diffusing. So, this is my dead soldier or my little dead jar that's ready to go away and be thrown away, which I used up the rest of. I do have a larger one of this, so I'm not too sad. Cinnamon Cherry Vanilla. So, it was going with my apple picking, my apple pie scents when I was warming those wintry scents. Basically, you get the cinnamon and then you get the sweetness of the cherry. Very fruity, cinnamon, wintry type scent. I do have a large one of that because I do enjoy that a lot, that scent. But I used that little one that I had in my testers. Finally, Twinkle Twinkle. It's basically a lavendery type scent. Very enjoyable, very relaxing. When I had the peppermint going, I was dousing my bed more so than putting it in the diffuser with this one. Well, not dousing, but putting a little bit on the mattress just to get rid of the smells from that cat. Eucalyptus, lavender and mint just to try and freshen up my room a bit. And this one isn't scentsy, but I will talk about it briefly. Going with the Sal Wonderland, I did pick up Boxing Day sale, I think a Christmas set of about five or six, maybe seven oils from a company called Eco, and one of them was orange and nutmeg. And so that just complemented really well with the Wasail Wonderland I had going. So they were the oils that I was diffusing. They are my empties. I have finally got through this video. I do apologise for the screaming chart in the background. And the writing all backwards, back to my normal stage. I had been doing my on my phone for a while because I'd worked out on my phone how to reverse the writing so you could read it. But there's not enough room on my phone and I've got to work out what can be deleted and how much room. It seems to be my phone's shrinking in memory lately. So I hope you enjoyed these empties. If you'd like to like and subscribe, that would be great. If you're looking for a consultant in Australia, I will link my details below. This has been a longer video. We're going on 40 minutes now. I do apologise for that. I didn't think I'd go through that much being crook. But obviously, I was still enjoying my scent. So until next time, have a sensational day, and I will speak to you all later. Bye for now.